Welcome to a video from thedigitallifestyle.com. We have a new Windows 10 build to look at. This is 17682 for Windows Insiders on the fast ring and using skip ahead. And a few changes to this build, a huge amount. Um, the polish is coming now, I think, which is quite good to see. I have one word of warning though, I have had quite a few issues with this build every now and again having to reboot it to get the start menu to come up and other things. So. Uh, there still are some issues and that is mentioned in the known issues which we'll come to later in the video. So what's changed in this build? Well something that's changed on the server side for sets is this start page. So you've got this new look start page and you can choose between your apps and your news feed. Which I rather like actually, I think that is a good way of doing it with the frequent destinations like that and the option to switch. What doesn't seem to be the case though is if you go into a edge tab and open it, it seems to open it in the old way, which I don't like as much. And I think you can't launch an app from that. If you start typing notepad, it's just going to search for that. Whereas if on this one, if I start typing notepad, it will give me the option to open it in a new tab. So there's still some work to, to be done, I think, on that. But I do prefer this method with the new look on here. That's actually done in the back end, it's not totally dependent on the build. Another change that they've made with this build is when you're doing projection to a uh, wireless display and I haven't got one set up on here but I can show you the screenshot. So this is the new wireless display bar here. Um, so you can see um, you go into productivity mode when you first connect. So game mode minimizes the screen latencies um, by sort of optimizing, op optimizing on the uh, display speed, whereas video mode makes things look smoother without glitching, so it's not as real-time responsive. So it depends on what you're doing. So if you're watching a video, then you don't need the response if you can have a better quality. Game mode needs the responsibility, uh, and productivity mode has a combination between those two. Um, another change with this build as well is when you, um, if you have the remote server tools like the DHCP, DHCP server tools or the file server server tools, they automatically persist between builds. You don't have to go after reinstall a build, you don't have to then reinstall it. There's also a new post upgrades um, screen as well, although I wasn't given that screen, so I don't know when that actually appears. Um, these machines just that I did the install and just installed. So I guess this is if you're going from Redstone 4 and you go to Redstone 5, you'll see this screen. And it gives you the option to review some of the features before you um, completely upgrade. So the rest of the uh, changes are fixes to the known issues. So the fixing things with File Explorer and Alt Tabbing and Cortana playing music and so on. Um, the known issues, they're still working on dark theme for File Explorer, um, so they've still got more work to do that. You may get a few green screens, and the service to you may still have an, an error. Um, I'm getting this uh, I'm getting this problem where the start button is a bit unreliable. See, it's okay now, but I had to reboot before I recorded this video, and that's what's mentioned there. And if you're a mixed reality user, then... Um, you might want to avoid this because every time you upgrade, um, it's going to wipe your software and environment settings. So, otherwise, your, your home with all your pictures and apps all set up will be wiped. So, that's it for this build. Um, still looking good. So moving from tabs to tabs still seems a bit clunky to me. Um, and you sort of see the screen flicker and, and so on. So, they've still got a lot more work to do with that. But the actual um, functionality seems great, and I've got really used to using tabs now. I have a tab with Word and browser on for doing blogs and so on, so I think it's, um, it's a good way of working. So you can see more on our YouTube channel, on the digitallifestyle.com, at ISDixon on Twitter.